So we're here with Greg, uh, Greg Bautamain, uh General Manager at eHow.com, and he's showing us some of the great new IE9 features on, on eHow. Uh, yeah, so one of the things that we really, I mean, HTML5 is really at the core of uh, IE9. And so we really thought about what was the best way to attack this on a site as big as ours. So eHow, if you don't know, has about 90 million unique visitors per month. It's the top 20 site in the U.S. It's really for people coming to accomplish goals and projects. Uh, and we took the approach of applying IE9 to make the interface cleaner and faster. So one of the things that we did was really looking at video. So we, did, we designed a special HTML5 video player. Uh, and obviously it's a, it's a bigger uh, format than a normal user would see in the Flash uh, player. And it also, I mean, one of the noticeable advantages, it loads immediately. You don't need to load Flash. Uh, it's completely embedded in the page, very clean. And some of the things that we did here, some of the things that we did here was really uh, put the functionality that normally sits on the page into the player. So the ability for someone to look at the video, uh, actually browse around to see other videos that are related to this series, come back to, to the video. Uh, they can even browse related videos to this topic. Uh, all, all while watching uh, the video. And then we, you know, we did a, some cool little features like dim the lights. And this is really more of that movie type atmosphere. Of, because the player is so big and so crisp and there's cool things you can do in HTML5, this is really a way for us to feature our videos. And so we, we're a pretty video intensive site. We have about 150,000 videos on the site today. About 75,000 of those are actually in a format that can be played in HTML5. So anyone today who comes to eHow in IE9 or uh, Chrome or Safari, HTML5 enabled browser, can actually watch videos in this format. So this is something that's universally available, although IE9 really was the, the, the purpose and the driver for us to do that. One of the other things that we focused on here is the pinned app. So you can see eHow uh, is a huge site that covers many topics and really at the core of our, our audience are these categories, family, food, health, home, money, and style. And so we really took the advantage of the behaviors that, that IE9 and IE8 and IE7 uh, users have in Windows 7 to, to pin our apps to the bottom of the taskbar. So you can see here I've got six of those channels and they're all pinned. So this really gives someone the ability just with a right click to see what content is programmed on those channels. And that content refreshes, refreshes daily and hourly as the content on our pages changes and allows someone just with a simple click of a mouse to launch directly into that channel. Page. So that really, you know, is the next evolution of, you know, back in the day people would add favorites or bookmarks and this is just a much more contextual visual way for people to explore. And then the thing that we were, we were just reviewing a, a few minutes ago, uh, which is eHow Folio. And this was really taking the notion of thinking about uh, our content, you know, be it videos or articles. You know, many people back in, you know, going back in time have really consumed this content in an offline world. And a magazine is a very friendly, easy format. And you see today with the introduction of the iPad and devices like that, that iBooks are becoming uh, much more the norm for con consuming digital data, but doing it in a way that's very familiar to the way people have done it in the past. And so we took those, those six channels and we actually created magazines for them. So I could click on one and it'll flip open like it's a magazine. And it'll allow me to, you know, browse the table of contents, uh, click on an article, flip to the page, and I could actually read the article here. And so this is something that is obviously very fast, very quick, enabled with, with HTML5. Um, but it also updates in real time. So as the content on our channels changes, the content in these magazines actually changes. And it's something that uh, was a cool little app and exercise that we did. You can see you can, you can easily change what folios you're reading. Uh, and that was another feature that we did for, for IE9. So these are core things that we think are, are really good with IE9, uh, but also will become a core part of the user experience as other browsers step up HTML5.